Today we will see program 4 of unit 1. So for that first of all open Visual Studio. Then go to the file menu bar. Select new and then click on website. From this box select Visual C Sharp as language. Click on empty website. And you can browse the location where you want to save the file. Then click on OK. Now as per program. Create a radio button list that displays the names of some colors in two columns. Create new web form. Go to Solution Explorer, right click on root, then select add new item. Select Visual C Sharp as language and type as web form. You can change the name of the site as I am changing here as U1P4 then click on add. Go to the design section. Add radio button list from the toolbox. Now go the properties of radio button list from items properties you can add items as colors. Click on add, then type color name, add another one you can add as many as you want. Then click on OK. Now as per question we need to display color list in two columns so for that from properties set repeat columns properties value as 2. Now as per requirement. Add a button to the web form which when clicked changes the background color of the form to the color selected from the list. Go the design part add one button change its text as change bg color. Now go to u1p4.aspx.cs file you can double click on the button or you can get this file by right click on u1p4.aspx then click on view code now write following code inside button one click event to change color of background means before selecting any item an index of radio button list is minus one so if user has not selected any color then it display as kindly select any color Otherwise as in body tag rub color dot selected item dot text will return text of particular selected color. Now as per last requirement also show the use of external CSS file. Go to the solution explorer right click on the root then select add new item. This time select style sheet for CSS and click on add. Inside this style sheet dot CSS write the following code to make two CSS class one one for changing text color and another for changing background color you can apply any properties of CSS as you want. Now go to the design section of u1p4.aspx. Put one button as external CSS and one label here as this is label. Go to source part of u1p4.aspx and drag stylesheet.css from solution explorer and put inside head tag. Now go to the u1p4.aspx.cs file then write the following code inside button 2 click event to attach that CSS class with the button and label. Now you can debug the program and check the output. I'm clicking on button without selecting any color then it displays as kindly select any color. But if I'm selecting one color and then click on the change bg color button then it will change background. Next thing when I'm clicking on button 2 as external CSS then it will change text color of the button and background color of the label.